Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And today I will show you how to access and import the world population data using Earth Engine. So let's get started. So now this is an official site where you can able to access and download the world population data. So it can access through this www.worldpop.org. So this is a site for uh, spatial demographic data for research. And uh, let us let me show you the different data that is available. So you can also see what is a world population data. And uh, these are the different world population spatial demographic uh, data. So we have a world population of COVID-19 research, mapping population, spatial demographic data, and mapping development indicators, and uh, population dynamics. The mission of this. Uh, world population data So now to access this data through uh, Google Earth Engine, I will show you now So in Google Earth Engine you can access the world population uh, data through uh, Go to the option called uh, data sets and search by world population search by world pop. Let me show you that So now you can able to view that this is uh, our uh, required world population data. Click this. So this is a world population global project population data estimated residential population per 100 uh, meters, 100 square meters grid square. The data availability is from 2000 to 2021. The data set provider is world population. And uh, the script to access this data can access this data through the script. Now let me show you in Earth Engine. So to access and import our world population data into Earth Engine, you have to define first. You need to enter the code. So to import the world population data into Earth Engine, you have to define a variable called world pop. So to import the world population data into Earth Engine, we have to define a variable called world pop. Double A dot image collection world pop cp. 100 meters population so this so to access the world population data you have to use the script to import the world population data into earth engine so next is to set the visualization parameter for our layer that is a world population layer you have to define a variable called this world population so it is called visualization parameter for our world population data shortly we have defined this world population so we are using specifically the bands to be required for our uses it is for we need a world population data so we are using the band called population we set a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 50 and the color palette that is used to indicate the uh, used to indicate the population the high population and the low population uh, it's used here as we have uh, defined these colors these are the different uh, codes that is uh, used for to indicate high and low population. Now let me show you what this uh, what is this code refers to. So this is a site called that is a Color Brewer. So Color Brewer 2.0 site where you can able to see that each of the specific color. Now let me show you this. So each of the specific code has its own specific unique color. So this specific code has this color, and similarly. And this specific code has a refers to this color that is purple. And similarly, let me show you other colors too. So this is a pink color. You can able to clearly visualize here. So to access this color, you can uh, you have to refer you have to use this code. Uh, you have to use this code in our color palettes. So to indicate a high and low population, a high, low, and moderate uh, level of population, we have defined this uh, sequence of color palettes to refer to use in our to use this color in our layer and last to center and add a layer in our earth engine I have defined to center our layer I have defined a map dot center object world pop world pop refers to this layer that is our variable this image collection world population data and with a zoom level of 5 and similarly to add our layer into earth engine if we have defined map dot add layer we're referring to world pop so this uh, this variable 
and we set a visualization parameter for our layer so this is our visualization parameter and I output the layer, layer name as world pop so let us run this code code is the option called run script click run script so now you can able to see the layers being loading now we can able to clearly visualize the world population so the green indicates here the green indicates let me show you that so here the green indicates the high populated areas green one so this dense color refers to a high populated areas compared to this color it refers to a low power uh, low or nil uh, low populated areas so you can able to see that there is a high populated areas in this region and similarly let me show you other regions too so this is egypt so now you can able to clearly view that this is for egypt where the towards the delta there is a very high concentrated population a uh, very high concentration of population is observed around here let me turn this layer Turn off this layer. So you can able to clearly view that this is a Cairo. Let me show you the satellite mode. So we can visualize that these are the cities where there is high population densities. So we can now if now can able to clearly see the population density here. Let, similarly, let me show you other locations too. So, suppose if you want to refer to United States of America, you can uh, go to this uh, go to this place, and you can clearly view the different uh, population uh, using this population then using this population data. So you can clearly able to view that the city location has a higher population density compared to other regions has a very low population so this greener this greener portion indicates a very high population and this color refers to very low population let me turn this layer so you can able to see that this is a city called chicago let me zoom in let me turn this layer on so now you can clearly view that there is a very high concentration of population. Now let me show you other areas too. So you can also able to view that there is a several uh, area several locations in the european countries we have a very high population density is being observed so you can able to clearly view that this is paris let me zoom into it so now you can able to view that there is a very high population density let me turn off this layer so you can clearly view that this is a this is urbanized areas and has a very high population rate So we can also view here in India we have very high population. Let me show you in other regions too. So this is a uh, Chennai. So you can able to view that there is a very high population density. Let me zoom into it. So you can clearly able to view that where there is a very high. Uh, urbanized areas and very high population density so in this video i have shown you how to access and import the world population data using earth engine that is how to import the world population data into earth engine and set a visualization parameter for our population data and how to center and add layer the world population layer into earth engine so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like